Hey guys, it's Mr. Bison, and as usual, I've just come straight out of the exam. I'm in my car, and I wanted to let you know my thoughts on paper two. Now, my overall thought of this paper is I personally think that it was a bit more challenging than paper one. I think that the topics were quite heavy. I think there was quite a lot of work for the marks you had to do. Uh, but lots of people have been saying otherwise, and I'll come back to that in just a second. I do think there were still some quite high levels of accessibility, obviously at the beginning of the paper, nice and straightforward, and I was really surprised to see quite a lot of show that questions, particularly when they were asking you to find out like the tangent and the normal, which just basically meant you knew that you were on the right track for those kinds of things. Now of course, there were some questions that were tricky, and I do want to point out a couple of those ones. I think the vectors question, people have found hard, mostly because people don't like vectors. I know I sort of went off down like a further maths kind of route to begin with, and then quite quickly realised there must be a better way of doing this, so I've actually got two answers for that one. Obviously the same answer at the end, but I've got two methods, and I crossed through one. Um, so I think people have found that tricky. The circles question at the end, I mean, it is right at the end, so it should be difficult, but I know people will have found the range of K, I think they would have found that tricky as well. And I was surprised to see another differential equation question, but if you had come to some of my pure sessions a couple of months a couple of months back, I hope that you will have felt quite prepared for those kinds of questions that we have there. Now, as for sort of my predictions of what I thought should come up, loads of it did come up, and I hope that you did take my advice for some of the things that I had on my list that maybe weren't in my session, but I was like, do look out for this, you know, things like quadratic modelling, some stuff on like transformations of graphs, even though those were relatively simple kinds of questions that we had for this. Um, the parametric that came up I think was pretty straightforward I think it could have been a really hard integration one so maybe that's a good thing and the integration by parts yeah we had to do integration by parts twice uh, so I'll be interested to see if the DI method does appear in the mark scheme um, which it has done once in the international paper so it'd be nice to see if that's getting acknowledged although I didn't use the DI method just to make sure that I got the marks for this now interestingly the poll that I put on the channel um, it's only had about five or six hundred votes at the time that I'm making this video the distribution of what people have ranked paper two out of five is almost identical to the distribution of what people have thought of paper one which is fascinating as though people are having a really similar experience of both of these papers and I definitely felt that after the exam students were well, some of them saying it was harder some were saying it was easier it seems to come down to personal preference but the challenge level seems to be similar to me for paper one and paper two maybe a little bit harder for paper two in my personal view now for grade boundaries, I would say that we're still looking similar to 2023. Now obviously anytime I say anything about grade boundaries, I don't have a clue what they're gonna be. So I don't want you to sort of rest on your laurels and think, oh, this means I've got this many marks. You must be pushing your absolute hardest, especially when we've got paper three coming up for stats and mechanics, because that is where people can make huge gains. People don't tend to put that much time into these. So even if you think you've got a particular grade, you must be pushing yourself for this last paper that we've got here. And don't forget about everything to do with Pure, because last year in 2023 in the stats paper on the last question just when you thought pure maths had gone there was an integration by parts question so don't throw away your notes just yet just in case that is coming up um, and then the other thing I was going to say in terms of preparing for mechanics and stats you've got all of the videos on my channel I would definitely go and have a look at the sort of moments rigid bodies kind of playlist and definitely make sure you know what you're doing with normal distribution but if you want to I have got a couple of revision classes that have already taken place I've discounted them to £15 each uh, one on mechanics and one on stats you can find all the information for that in the, the description and it's just going to be some good preparation for getting you sort of ready for that exam that we're going to have on mechanics and stats and I guess the last thing I want to say, again, is just to say thank you so much for being a subscriber to my channel. And if you're not, please do subscribe to my channel. I hit 50k this year, and I am trying to get to 100k. Hopefully sometime next year would be my absolute dream for that. So, yeah, if I've helped you at any point, please do subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that. So wishing you the absolute best of luck for Paper 3 and any other exams that you might have. And I hope to see you in another video soon.